So in this lesson, we're going to go ahead and take a break from program and take what we've learned so far, let it sink in a bit, and let's go ahead and look at skyboxes today. So we see this big blue to gray area. This is the skybox. It's basically what's rendered in the furthest distance for us and all of our scenery will come before. So if we go ahead and move around in it, uh, this is the default one. It has a little sun up top. Of course, you have the horizon. Now, this is what is known as a procedural skybox. And if we go ahead and open up our lighting tab, we can see that Unity has the default one, which we click on. It doesn't show up because we can't edit that one. So let's actually go ahead and make a couple of our own. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Create Folder. I'm just going to call it Skybox. I guess plural, Skyboxes. And we'll go inside. I'm going to right click. And we're going to go ahead and create a material. Now we'll go more in depth in materials later, but let's just go ahead and take a look at the, how to make this procedural Skybox. So I'm just going to call it My SB. And we'll jump back into the inspector. And up here, underneath shaders, we're going to come down to Skybox and Procedural. For this video, let's go ahead and take a look at the procedural and the six sided. So I'll go procedural. And here we go. Down here's your preview. You can hold the left mouse button down and look around. But let's look at some of these properties. So the sun, make the sun bigger, smaller, self explanatory. The atmosphere thickness is actually pretty cool. You can go ahead and change the coloring a bit. Let's make like a, a sunset. Exposure makes it lighter or darker. I want to make it a little bit darker. I want it to kind of be blown out though. And of course, we can also tint the sky and also tint the ground. So I'm going to do the sky first. I'm going to go more white. Not quite that much. Around there. And we'll go ahead, we'll do the sky. I'll start with the ground. I'm going to go right about there. And then to apply a skybox, it's simple. You can either go ahead to the lighting tab, click, drag it up, hit the target, go search for the material. Now there is the default. We can get back to it. Um, if you have a lot of assets, it can be hard to get to. Oops, I did not mean to click it. The way I normally do it is I zoom out far enough so I can see the skybox. And I've always just clicked and drag. So let's go ahead. We're going to hit play. We're going to go ahead and take a look at it in the sky. And I actually kind of like that look. I think I need to dim my light down a bit and also change the color. But we'll get into directional lighting later. Let's get out somewhere where we can actually see the sky box a bit better. There's our sun. I like it. But let's go ahead and also take a look at a six sided skybox. Now I'm going to go to the asset store for those because there's just so many of them and there's so many good ones too that are free. So I'm going to come down to textures and materials, skies, click free only. And there's quite a few of them. There's even actually sky spheres that are free. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and just grab one of them. I'll get this one here. It's actually one of my favorites. So I'll go ahead, import it. Now, if we take a look, we have the folder and they're broken up into subfolders. So there's a whole bunch of them in this one. So I'm gonna go ahead, grab all of them. We'll import it, should not take that long. And once it's done importing, here it is right here. I'm actually just gonna drag that into my skyboxes folder just to keep all of my skyboxes together. All right, so let's go back into our scene. And you can go ahead and open these up individually. Uh, let's go with this one. This is the material. If we come back to the inspector, we take a look here. It's set to the six sided. Now you do have the ability to change the exposures just like you did before. We can go ahead and change the rotation, which is kind of cool. If you have, let's say, uh, I don't know, uh, all the constellations as we know them up in the sky, you can actually go ahead and maybe if you're putting them in your game, Maybe they're 90 degrees off. You can go ahead and rotate them. And of course, you can also work that into your day-night cycle where you actually have the skybox rotate around at night. 
or even during the day, it's your game. Uh, we have the ability to tint the color, so maybe you want to go a little bit more yellowish. And then we also have the textures for all six of the sides. That looks like this one here needs to be fixed, which is fine. I'll just go ahead and hit the Fix Now button. It'll all run off, do its thing. But yeah, so there's one in the front, back, both sides, top and bottom. And adding these to your scene, just as easy as the others. We'll go ahead, click and just drag, drop it in. I'll go ahead, hit play. We'll jump into our game and take a look. Make it a little bit bigger. And there we go. We now have this big planet. This is one of my favorite ones to use for space games. Pretty cool. So yeah, something so simple, so quick, so easy to do, and it dramatically changes the way your game can look and just the overall atmosphere of the game. But anyway, hopefully that helps you out. I'll see you in the next lesson.